Hey, what is up, you guys? I'm back. And now I'm waiting for the train to go to Nuremberg, so stay tuned, guys. Is Jacob spell with a K? Is that a German name? Yeah. What about Han? Like Jacob Hahn, is that, is that a German uh, name? He spelled with K? Yeah, it's spelled with K. Jacob Hahn. Well, yeah, I mean, Kahn is definitely sounds German. So we have established that Jacob Hahn is German. He looks like German. But, but no, he's like blonde. Well, yeah. Lot, he does look like German. So you can I mean, a lot of like, German. You are like an ancestral homeland of Jacob Hahn. <laughs> no, no, you can sit here. I hope you want to drop over there. What if I do? No, no, maybe you don't. Jay Connell will come save me. The ancestral homeland of Jacob Han. <laughs> it says Han right there. If you can... Should I climb up this or I'm probably going to fall? It's round, so... Right there, it says Han, guys. Right there. Must be related to Jacob Han. Very good view from here. Я ел там киндеры, они так, they taste the same, как эти milk cream, которые они подают там. Ah. Uh, Mars. 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 Oh, Mars. They don't sell them anymore. Yes, man. I don't know, they don't anymore. Oh, what там эти milk cream? Different flavored Pringles. I, I haven't seen those at home. The people in the medieval times, they would have lived in here, and um, it wasn't just a living quarter, but it was actually really good and robust and secure. Um, you know, a lot of the time there were people um, invading or trying to invade, and they felt safe up there. But that would have been for the people that had a bit of money, the gentry, the rich, really. But these days it's still a residential tower block. Here as well, yeah? When the T Mobile opened. <laughs> when the T-Mobile opened there, behind you. Yeah, T-Mobile on the ground floor. Oh. They've been there for a couple of years. Because this is the main, like, pedestrian zone. So there's still shops, they use them for shops and things like that. But up on the top, where the balcony kind of fit is, that's where people would have lived and still live today. One thing you ought to do if you go to Germany is buy one of them German pretzels, not one of them American knockoffs.
the next connection is there, I will inform you here. Alright, we've arrived in Munich or Munchen, making our way to the hotel now. Oh, the thing is not like fuzzy and all like crazy it was like last time. Mm. It was like kind of like like blanking off second floor. So it's like a super eight hotel to be honest. Yeah. Why are we? Why are we out here? It's an outdoor room. Oh, yo, lit. Yeah, this is, this is more like a motel. This ain't really a hotel. This is just like motels. What the hell is a kitchen at? No, it's even smaller than the last place. No, it's probably smaller. Yeah. I, I think it's even smaller than the one that we had in Erfurt. No, no way. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's probably smaller than the one we had in Erfurt. Alright, so we're now in Munich. We're going to explore Limke Gardens now in General Explorer City. So we're in Olympia Village now, and apparently this place was built for the Olympics in 1972. We're at the TV tower currently, where we can get a good view of everything. The weather is looking good today, so we can see the Alps there in the distance. If you guys can see that, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I sure as hell can see it. That's the Alps there, guys. And later in the trip, we're gonna be going to Frederikshafen. I think that's how it's pronounced, which is like at the foot of the Alps. Yeah, this is pretty nice. Yep, that's the Alps there, all right. If you can see that, guys, in the distance there on the horizon, that's the Alps. All right, so we're getting a walking tour of Munich now, everybody. Nice crystal meth. Well, it's evening now, and the tour's over. My camera's about to die, so until I see you guys next, peace out.